Okay. Um, what I want to just uh, do very quickly is give a couple of examples from our experience of use of social media and see whether these resonate at all. Uh, I'm starting by saying why, what are the key drivers for us? To me, um, and I'll give an example of that, partly we started with this e-image thing. People think we are very stodgy, fuddy-duddy kind of people in the foreign office. And so when we get onto Twitter or something, what do people think about us? Um, Second is, I want to use this social media platform to build positive narratives about India, uh, about uh, our soft power, about the work that we do, about the development partnerships that we foster around the world, and so on. And I think it's great if we can use social media for this purpose. Um, we are trying to create Friends of India communities on Facebook um, for our Indian technical and economic cooperation program, for other uh, kind of things, uh, using our uh, network of uh, diplomatic missions. Um, we've used Twitter to communicate quickly and effectively, uh, particularly as I'll come to the Libya situation that we've had recently, get feedback from people on an almost real-time basis, including people who were on the ground in Libya. Um, and we thought that uh, it helped us improve our responsiveness uh, and, in fact, made us more accountable uh, to the people that we were trying to rescue and also those who were watching what we were doing. Um, when we started Twitter uh, in uh, July, uh, and we've got almost 7,000 followers now, which is not a large number, but then we are not rock stars. Um, these are kind of reactions that we got, uh, and that's what I mean about e-image. These are responses that came spontaneously from people we didn't know within the first 48 hours. I particularly like this one which says, Bharat Sarkar replying is music to the ears. Uh, it, it shows the kind of low expectations that people have from government and, and so when you step into that space and start engaging, um, it, it has a very positive impact. Um, something similar happened and I have to thank the Department of IT because really we were your pilots, we were your guinea pigs on the use of uh, Web2 platforms in government. Uh, and the idea was that can we in Ministry of External Affairs use the Web2 platform to improve government citizen interface. And I think our Libya experience, which I'm coming to, has shown uh, that it's worked really well. Um, the Facebook uh, experience actually has been less successful than the Twitter experience. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm sure the experts will have a point of view on that. But we are continuing with our efforts to see how we bring increasing numbers of Friends of India to buy into the content that we are producing. And we are trying to make that content more lively. Uh, but really, it's the Libya situation that I wanted to focus on. Um, I think in the last month, we put maybe about 300 plus tweets, uh, uh, and we were receiving real-time feedback. Foreign Secretary uh, became the first senior government official to formally go on Twitter uh, on the 4th of February. We, uh, my colleague Abhay, who's sitting there, and I helped um, uh, set up her account. Um, and, uh, um, you know, again, we saw that by today, she's got probably 6,000 followers already built up in a very short span of time, and it's a very influential group of people who are following her. Um, we've tried to use it to set the agenda, uh, to be the first to put out the information uh, into the public domain and, and present factual information rather than various sorts of I interpretations. And we recognize that credibility is the key for us. And so we need to be quick, but we also need to be authoritative in terms of putting out the information. And that's why I believe that the public perception, by and large, has been that this whole Operation Safe Home coming from Libya has been handled uh, rather efficiently uh, by, uh, by government. Um, I'm showing you a few samples of the tweets that we were putting out by what Foreign Secretary was putting out. This guy, and I, I, I don't know him, he's a gentleman in Chennai, who called me, who first tweeted back to me and said, my father is stuck in Misrata. He's in a Libyan iron and steel company. And, uh, and what are you guys doing? We, we, hear, about, uh, we hear about Libya. Um, we hear about Libya being uh, uh, the, uh, uh, sorry, Tripoli being the port, port of evacuation, but we've got 66 Indians in Misrata at the Libyan iron and steel company. And we were able to get back to him. I sent him a little message saying, send me an email with more details and I'll get back to you. And that started a conversation with him. And we were able to respond and eventually get everybody evacuated um, uh, from Misrata uh, based on some of the information that he gave. Um, similarly, you know, uh, I'm, I'm showing you some other tweets and it's a pity that the panelists can't see uh, some of the information that I'm, I'm, I'm showing. But the whole idea of these few slides is to give you a feel of the conversations that were happening 
pretty much real time between uh, people out there and uh, between uh, Foreign Secretary and our own Indian diplomacy uh, account. And if you look at the kind of feedback, here's somebody saying, my sisters reached back safely tonight thanks to you, thanks to your efforts. I personally, it's been a hugely gratifying experience for me because in my 28 years in the government service, I have never been the recipient of compliments the way we have been during these last three or four weeks. Uh, and, and it just shows that um, it allowed us to connect, it uh, allowed us to perhaps strike a chord with people. Um, and, and I'm just showing you a selection of uh, comments that, uh, that, that we've uh, been getting, uh, and, and including the, the last few ones, these reactions came in yesterday once we announced that the evacuation is more or less complete. And my final slide is one where somebody put out this tweet. Great job. Hope there are no scams. This government is capable of scams over dead bodies. No, this is not unusual. We get lots of tweets like this as well. Uh, I don't say all we get is positive. But here was Nidhi Razdan from NDTV quickly, within a minute, if you look at the timeline, responding and saying, keep your cynicism to yourself, and then putting out another tweet which says, all Indians evacuated and bravo. And then suddenly everybody was retweeting that. And I think that changed the mood. So let me just leave it at that. Thank you very much.